Hello, everybody. It's Friday, Facebook Live time. It has been three weeks since I have been live with you. Feels like a lifetime. <laughs> Christmas feels like a really long time ago. Hopefully you guys had a wonderful holiday and a good new year and are back in the swing of things. I know I'm always ready to totally get back into regular routine, eat regular food, <laughs> have regular normal, you know, things. It, it The holidays are a lot. They are a lot. Um, they are fun, but they're exhausting. Okay, I'm just making sure I'm in the right place. Hello, good to see you guys. Today's a very exciting day. I finally get to stamp with you using my Taco Fiesta stamp set. In case you don't know, I mean, you've probably heard me say it, but if you're new, this is my stamp set that I got to design um, as part of an achievement that I reached, million dollar sales, and this has been in the works for two years. So to, to finally have it come to fruition and see other people using it and to be able to show it with you, um, it's very exciting. Yes, Judy, sugar detox. I keep saying every day I'm gonna do that too and still hasn't happened. I was just eating some uh, candy a little while ago. I got. I need to just throw it all away. That's what you have to do, just get rid of all of it. But anyways, we are gonna um, use a little bit of candy today actually for two of our projects. Um, Taco Fiesta is the stamp set that I decided to design because I wanted something fun. If you guys know me, you know I love cute stamps. I like fun stamps. So there really were two requirements for my stamp set. I wanted it to be fun and lighthearted, and I wanted to be able to color it with Stampin' Blends. And so here we have it. Um, the images are small, which make them easy to color. Um, if you feel intimidated by those larger images, which I do, um, this is really a great place to start. Um, they're quick and easy to color and don't require a lot of fussy coloring. So um, I'm going to show you three different things today. I have posted three projects this week. I've got several more for you tomorrow. I mean, I just can't stop with a Taco Fiesta. Um, so hopefully you guys are excited. Hopefully, if you don't like it, I will convince you today to like it. <laughs> that's my goal. I know it's not for everybody, and that's fine, I guess. Um, the other exciting news is that our catalog has gone live, the spring catalog, finally. Oh my gosh. Again, you know, we get this, We I saw it early November. So, it's been like how many months and finally I get to share it with you guys. Um, lots of fun things planned for this catalog over the next few months. Um, this catalog ends earlier than previous spring catalogs. Um, it started yesterday, January 5th, and it goes through, I just want to make sure that I, I am going to read you the right date, May 1st instead of June 1st. So it's one month shorter, okay? Um, so make sure you prioritize your wish list, get all those things before we get closer to the end of the catalog. Um, the other thing is the celebration catalog went live. Celebration is free stuff. So during celebration, you get something free with every $50 you, you spend or $100. There's two levels. You can there's a $50 free and a $100 free. Um, and they're stackable. So if you spent $150, $150, you would get three $50 things for free or one $100 thing and one $50 thing for free. Um, so it's cumulative. Um, if you need these catalogs, if you don't have them, hopefully if you're a customer of mine, you should have gotten it. If not, these things happen, they get lost please message me. And if you don't have a demonstrator and you want a catalog, message me. I'd be happy to send them to you. Um, the other fun thing about Celebration is that Stampin' Up! always kind of sweetens the pot a little bit when it comes to the starter kit. So if you have your Celebration catalog and you look on page 18, you'll see this beautiful little machine. Um, we have a machine called the Cut and Emboss Machine, and then we have a little machine called the Mini Cut and Emboss Machine. See, it's little, it's portable, it's great, it's easy to turn. Um, so during Celebration, Stampin' Up! geniuses that they are decided to come up with a new mini cut and emboss machine in this boho blue which is going to be a new color coming in i guess the ne next catalog it's very cute look how the plates are all new don't you love new plates and it's adorable so it um folds up like the other one let me run these through and show you um these are great machines 
if you like to craft and travel, you know, um, if you go in your camper in the summer or um, road tripping, it's very light and easy. So how do you get this? Well, let me tell you. The starter kit is always $99, right? You pick out $125 in product, you pay $99. Well, during celebration, you actually have three choices, all right? And I have it all typed up because it's hard for me to remember. The first option is $129, okay? So it's a little bit more, but you're gonna get this machine plus $175 in product for free. That is a lot, because this machine, what is it, 60 bucks, the little one, the white one? 60 bucks, I think. So you're getting a ton for free for $129. Let me read it again. You get the Boho Blue Mini Cut and Emboss Machine and $175 in product, either from the spring catalog, the annual catalog, or the clearance rack. Now, there's the option number two, and I don't know why you would want option number two. <laughs> Some of you don't like this color. That's the option two is for you because you can choose the white one, okay? I, I, you guys, I'm teasing. If you want the white one, I don't care. It's not gonna bother me. You can get the blue, you can get the white, whichever you want. Maybe your studio is all white, your craft space is all white and you want white. So that deal is the same, $129. You get the white one and $175 in product. Okay, I, I still, when I say $175, that's a lot. Um, you pay $129, um, free shipping, you don't pay any shipping. You do pay tax, but no shipping. The third option is for those of you that already have this, you're like, I don't need the blue one, Erica, I don't need it. Then that goes back to the $99 deal, okay? $99 and you still get $175 in product, a lot. So three options all um, from now until the end of February. When you buy the starter kit, you become a demonstrator. You don't have to be a business demonstrator like me. You can, but you don't have to be. You can be what we call a hobbyist or just a happy shopper. You're gonna get a discount um, on, your, on your orders after that. If you join my team, you get my PDFs for free. You get my classes at a discount. Lots of other benefits. So if you're interested in that, there is, at the bottom of today's blog post, did it go up? Have you guys checked? I scheduled it last night while I was watching TV. So now I'm like, did I do it right? I probably forgot to change the little thumbnail picture. I always do. Anyways, if you scroll down today, the bottom of today's post, bottom of every post for the next two months, there, all that information will be there. There will be a link right there for you um, so that you can go over and read the details, okay? Um, let me know if you have questions. I'm happy to answer questions. Thanks, Carla. Okay, I'm gonna turn you guys around because I, I feel like I need to show you stuff in a better in a better way. So I'm gonna flip you around. I haven't used my mini blue boho machine yet. So she's nice and sparkly clean. I don't think I'm doing any die cuts today. I need to keep her out so I remember to use her. She's very pretty. Now she'll go away at the end of celebration. That's what that's what they've told us. We won't have we won't be able to order her later on. All right. Let's talk a little bit about um hold on. Let me make some space here for my iPad. Hold on, hold on. Um let's talk a little bit about some kits. Um first off, I still have an adhesive kit. If you need an adhesive kit, um, they are in my store at the top of my blog. You click that shop button, drop down um, where it says past kits or past class kits. They're in there. Um, still the same adhesive. This time I'm putting in some free snowfall puff paint in them. I just packed up some new ones yesterday. So if you're, if you're needing adhesive, um, they come in that cute bag too. Um, okay, let's talk about kits. So paper pumpkin you have until the 10th of January to subscribe to this month's Paper Pumpkin. And this month is called Keys to My Heart, and it's cards, okay? Nine cards, three of three designs with, of course, your envelopes. You're gonna get a Fresh Freesia ink spot, love theme photopolymer stamp set. Um, it says unique padlock and key die cuts, oh, die cuts, hello, that you can mix and match to create something heartful. So it'll be kind of a Valentine-themed um, kit. If you Google keys to my hearts, 
um, Paper Pumpkin, you'll see a preview. But I wanted to point out to you that there's this add-on. If you're like me and you want 3D kits, 3D things for Valentine's, there's this add-on kit you can order in the store. And it makes these really cute little heart boxes. Very easy to put together. The adhesive's already on there. You just peel it off, pop them together. Um, and I wrote it down, heart boxes. Now you can only order these if you are a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, right? You have to be a subscriber to order these. Um, they're $11, you get 10 boxes, and here's the item number, 162417. Um, if, when you're shopping on Stampin' Up, if you do the shop, drop down, kits, Paper Pumpkin, go in there, you'll find them. But there's the number too if you need it. But um, subscribe to this month's Paper Pumpkin by the 10th which is when, Tuesday, Tuesday, okay? All right, so there's that. Um, the other kits I wanna talk to you about, I have, um, I didn't, I don't think I ever talked to you about this December Paper Pumpkin. It came in really handy when I needed a bunch of gift card holders at the end for my husband's family. We decided to do some extra gift cards. So I whipped these babies up, they were super cute. They make these little tiny boxes. Um, I have a couple, two or three extras of these. If you need one, let me know. Um, I would love to send it to you. So that's December's kit. Um, I, I have November's kit too. Not the one that everybody wants, the one with the Santa face. I don't have that one. I wish I had ordered a lot extra of those. But I have the ones with the Christmas tags if you're looking for that one. Um, okay, and then we have two new kits in the store. These aren't subscription kits. These are actual kits in, you know, on the Stampin' Up! store. Um, this one I put together today and it is super easy. It is so cute. It's called um, Saying Thanks Kit. It's only $13. This is kind of a your beginner level kit. Um, there's no stamping. Uh, you just kind of stick some things together and it's so easy, perfect for kids. Um, and look, they're rainbows. They're very bright and cheery. Um, so only $13. And they're under the kits tab, but here's the item number if you want to type it in, 162361. Very, very cute. Took me I, not very long at all to put that one together. And then there's this one, another kind of Valentine treat. I mean, it's not Valentine's. Well, I guess it does say be my Valentine, but they kind of look like wedding box favors to me. They're really pretty. Um, they remind me of those boxes that we had can't remember just recently we had some boxes that you put together and they clasped I can't remember what they were but they remind me of those this kit is a stamping kit and I didn't do the stamping um, I just put them together so you could see comes with a basic gray spot your stamps your clear block and it is $21 and you have tw you get 20 boxes in here all right so these can be purchased at, on a regular order you can earn celebration rewards on these add-on things that you add, that you buy in the regular Stampin' Up! store. Also, if you're a Paper Pumpkin person, Paper Pumpkin person, um, let me show you the Paper Pumpkin. You can get Celebration Rewards. Um, where am I going? Where is it? You can get Celebration Rewards on Paper Pumpkin prepaid paper pumpkin subscriptions. So on the Stampin' Up! store, click those three little lines. Come on. And then shop, oh, come on. Shop products. Um, if you come down to um, Kits Paper Pumpkin and then prepaid subscriptions, if you buy a 12-month prepaid subscription, a six-month prepaid subscription, or a three-month prepaid subscription, my mouth is tired from saying all that, you will get celebration, free products with that. And so how that works, let's say you pay six for six months, $122, that's either two level one or one level two <laughs> celebration reward. They send you a code, you go redeem it, and then you're gonna get a paper pumpkin for six months and you've paid for it all up front, okay? So just so that you know, I know a lot of people like to take care of their subscription during celebration that way so that you get those rewards. Now, if you go over to the Paper Pumpkin website and subscribe and pay monthly, you're not going to get celebration rewards on that. You have to pay, you know, for a chunk up front to get those rewards. I hope that makes sense. Okay, I want to remind you of my paper share. Um, if you want either, and I should have gotten a visual for you. If you want a 
half or a quarter sheet of all the new paper in the spring catalog. This is for you. Um, I will order them after, well, they're gonna ship around the 1st of February is what I'm trying to say. I have a lot of things to prep before then. So if you're looking for your paper, it will be coming the first week of February. Um, $46 for the six by 12. Nope, that's not right. That should be, boop, boop, that should be switched. $46 for the six by six. $66 for the six by 12, that includes shipping. Um, if you get the six by 12, you're also gonna get uh, a host paper and celebration paper, okay? Okay, there's that. Details of that, the link is on my blog today. Um, the new All-Star Tutorial Bundle, we have a brand new six-month series. We do these in chunk, six months, six-month chunks is what I'm trying to say. And this is month number one. So we open subscriptions for this in the first month. Um, when you subscribe, you get the six month for free. There are several ways to get these PDFs. If you shop with me, if you're a customer and you spend more than $50 with me online, I email it to you for free, okay, each month. If you're not a customer of mine, you have a demonstrator or you are a demonstrator, but you want the PDFs, you can subscribe and it's $15 a month. The six month is free, or you can pay for all of it up front. You still get that six month for free. This month's PDF is, and PDF guys, by the way, they're all videos. The PDF has a link to the videos. Um, 12 different Stampin' Up! demonstrators have come together. We've all designed one project to with this uh, fancy floral, fancy flora suite. And here is mine this time. Um, this is a beautiful suite. So if you're interested in that, look on the bottom of today's blog post. There's a link on today's PDF. There's a link. Um, I haven't mailed them out yet this month. So those of you that are going to be ordering this weekend and stuff, I'll probably do it Monday or Tuesday so I can do it all at once. Okay. All right. So there's that. Let me know if you have questions. Comments are disappearing. Now club create guys is closed for this month. I have maxed out with club create. Um, is the share a milkshake sweet. Um, the PDF is still available if you want the PDF. It comes with a video as well. Um, but Club Create members, I sent out the add-on email just like the day before yesterday. So make sure you look for that. Um, and that's it. That's all I have to say about Club Create this month because subscriptions are closed. I can't add anybody else. But next month's Club Create is all ready, and it features the same suite as the All-Star Tutorial. I hate when that happens because then it kind of gets confusing. This is February's Club Create kit. So if you are already subscribed, don't worry. You will already, you'll get it, all right? Um, but if you want to subscribe to Club Create starting in February, you have to wait until next week. But this is what's coming. Just a little sneaky peek for all of you who want to know. All right, last but not least, my class to go, <laughs> you guys, y'all have broken every class to go record I have ever had with this class. Um, so many of you have registered for this that I'm a little bit nervous. Um, I always say I give myself a week after the deadline to get them out, but so many of you have registered that I'm worried that it may take me a little bit longer than a week. Um, <laughs> Anyhow, there's like 16 or 17 die cuts I have to do for each kit, which is a ton. Luckily, Denise is already on it. She's helping me. Um, we're going to get it done, but it <laughs> it's crazy. Thank you guys for registering. I'm glad you're excited about this cl uh, class as much as I am. Um, it is four cards, two 3Ds, and um, you can get it with a stamp set. If you get it with a stamp set, so many of you have asked that I autograph them, so I will autograph the stamp sets. Um, and it comes with a lot of product. I don't think I even have it in here. But if you want the details on that, click the link on today's blog post, go back, read it, email me if you want that registration link. Okay, that is it. I think I covered it all. Thank you, Nicole, I appreciate it. Um, you know, it's funny, I love it. But it is all I have been doing for like the last month. So I'm kind of <laughs> getting tired of it. I need to do some other things. I mean, I'm not tired of it. I love it. But, you know, I need to do some other things. Next week, we're going to do the owl. We're going to do some celebration things. We'll do the owl next Facebook Friday. The week after that, 
I think it's the farm stuff. The farm stuff's super cute. You guys haven't been ordering, you haven't been choosing that paper as your celebration paper or your celebration choice, but I'm going to convince you that you need it because it is so cute. So, so, so cute. Okay, let me make some room and we're going to get started. Hold on, I need a drink too. That was a lot of words. Okay, where is my PDF? So, welcome to Facebook Friday. If you have never joined me before, this is a very special Facebook Friday because this is my stamp set. My kids are very impressed that it has my name on it. They think I'm a little bit legit or whatever the words they use. They're like, okay, mom's a little bit cool. Um, <laughs> um, anyhow, we are going to make three projects using the Taco Fiesta stamp set. Um, if you go to pinkbuckaroo.com, You'll find details on all three projects and there, there will be this free PDF there at the bottom. You click on the little photo and you have the free PDF. It has all the supplies, the measurements, and then all that stuff I just talked about. Now, if you want these make and takes for free, let me show you, hold on. I send make and takes for free as a thank you with orders. So orders between yesterday and Mon this coming Monday at midnight, um, we'll earn, oh, I forgot to print out the thing. I'm off my game. It's been a long time. Um, if you place an order over $35 and use the host code for this week, on Tuesday, I will cut a make and take packet for you and I will mail it to you on Wednesday. These are completely different projects than the class to go. They're all different. So don't worry if you've ordered the class to go, you're not gonna see them right here. That's exclusive to that class. These are just for Facebook Live, okay? Um, so please use the host code unless your order is over $150. Then you would earn stamp and rewards. And let me show you guys. Stamp and rewards are designed for people who host workshops or classes, but they're also for people who spend over $150. In the back of the catalog, it'll show you on page 90. If you spend $150 online, your order, you're gonna start earning stamp and rewards. You'll earn 10%. So let's say your order's right at 150, then you're gonna earn $15 in free stuff. Um, the thing that I would choose with my stamp and rewards, you can choose anything you want, um, but I would choose this amazing designer series paper. It's a 12 by 12 pack called Flowers and More, and it's bright and cheery and fun. I used it for my Fiesta class. Um, it's $18, but if you have $15 in stamp and rewards, they'll apply that to it, and then they'll you just pay the $3 extra. So there's also this cute at the pond stamp set. So if your order this weekend is over $150, don't use that host code. You wanna get free stamp and rewards, and I will still send you the projects for free. But if your order is under $150, please use the host code. Okay, I think we're ready. <sighs> Today we're gonna do some coloring, you guys. And I know some people don't like to color, and funny enough, I used to say I didn't like to color. But ever since we got Stampin' Blends, I love to color. It just makes it easy. It makes you look like you know what you're doing. You don't have to be an artist to use Stampin' Blends. So I'm gonna spend some time showing you how to color really with the first project and then the second and third. Um, well, the second project I've colored and cut them out ahead of time just to kind of save us some time. Um, the stamp set has lots of little critters or characters you can choose from. Um, there, there's also five faces that you can add to your characters. And then we've got five um, kind of pun type, you know, funny sayings. Um, the first thing we're gonna make is a desktop calendar. I make these every year. You guys love them. Everybody loves them. My mom's been like, where's my calendar? <laughs> so these are awesome. These little two by three calendars are from Tailored Expressions and I linked them on today's blog post. So you guys, if you wanna order some, you can. It's a pack of 10 and I think it's $4. They're very cheap. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. If you get the make and takes from me um, this week, yours will include a calendar. I've already got them here for you. All right, let's start by coloring our little guys. And I'm gonna try to zoom in 
I tend to screw the thing up when I try to zoom in. Okay, what did that say? What does that say? I don't know what that's send. What? Hold on. Cancel. I don't know. I just want to zoom in, Facebook, please. Just zoom. Okay, I don't know. It's not zooming. It's giving me an error message, so I'm not going to zoom. Darn it. I really want to zoom in, you guys. I don't have that fancy software that some people have to zoom in. Maybe someday. Yeah, it's totally not letting me zoom in. All right. Well, the good news is I pre-recorded all these videos and they're on YouTube and over there I could zoom in. So if you need me to zoom in, you can't see what I'm doing. You can go back and watch it over there. Okay. So we're going to do the taco and the cactus, the sombrero, the pepper, the large pepper and the lime. All right, let's see. Hello, everybody. I'm so glad you're here. Um, fit in the Stampin' Up! Lunchbox, that's a good question. Um, Rhonda has asked, does the mini cut and emboss machine fit in the Stampin' Up! Lunchbox? Um, and Kathy says it does, but the handle holds the bag a bit out of shape. Interesting question. Very interesting question. That little lunch bag that, are you talking about the, the lunch bag that the kit that kit came in, the flourish and nourish lunch bag. Ooh, I overinked that. Let's try that again. Okay, hold on. I need to get my my stamp cleaner. My pad is juicy, and we don't want the juicy, juicy pepper. All right, stay, stay, come on. It's a big day, stamps. You're making your debut. All right, taco and our lime. It also fits in the kit bag. Okay, so it does. Interesting, I never even would have thought about it. It's a better fit than the lunch bag. Huh, interesting. All right, when I chose colors, now you guys, I'm gonna bring my chair over because I cannot color very well standing up. So hold on, of course I've piled all of these things in my chair. So let me get them out. I can't color when I stand up, but I can't do anything else sitting down. <laughs> it's kind of a problem. Um, let's start with our granny apple green. I was gonna say something and now I don't remember. So your, your markers have two tips, right? You have the bullet end and the brush end. In these images are small, and when you get to things like this, the lettuce part of the taco, um, it's a little bit small. So play around with your markers, see which one fits better. If I find that if my markers are new, the, the brush tip works really well, getting in those tiny little spaces. But if you've used your markers quite a bit, then that brush tip probably is kind of flimsy at this point, right? Um, I find the more I use it, the more it, you know, I wear it out. So if your tip is flimsy, then either order a new marker <laughs> or use the bullet in. And I'll show you in a second um, one thing you can do. Now, I'm just kind of using one color going over all of it at the same time. I'm going to take my dark granny apple green and we're going to add just some shading some shadowing on our cactus. And I do like to use that brush end to kind of blend all that that way. I wanted bright, cheery colors with this. Think, you know, Mexican restaurant, party. Here in San Antonio, we have something every year called Fiesta. And Fiesta is exactly what it sounds like. It is a 10 day party. Um, downtown all over the city and the, you know it's confetti and it's bright and it's fun and so that's that's why I have chosen these bright colors that I've chosen of course I like brights anyway all right now for the lime I'm gonna add the dark like this so if you're using your bullet tip one thing I have found is that if I just kind of tap that color in just tap, tap, tap in those small spaces. It 
works better than if I'm just trying to like that. Okay. All right, so that's Granny Apple Green. Let's do our sweet sorbet. And we will do our tomatoes. I do not like tomatoes or lettuce on my tacos. No, thank you. But it makes for a much cuter, much cuter um, taco if you add it. And um, I don't know if I've told you guys this or not, but there's a soft taco or a burrito in the um, set. And the person at Stampin' Up! I was working with as we were designing this stamp set said that the soft taco is favored over the crunchy taco in Europe. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's why we included it. <laughs> and my family, when we have taco Tuesday or Wednesday or whatever, whenever we have tacos here at the house, the f four out of the five people in my family choose a soft tortilla taco every time. I'm the only one who wants a crunchy taco. So I say they're weirdos. I don't know what's wrong with them. If you prefer a soft taco, then I guess that's okay. We've got a stamp for you too. <laughs> All right, last but not least, our taco. And I'm gonna use So Saffron Light. And the first thing I'm gonna do is just fill all of that shell in with So Saffron Light. And then I'm gonna take my dark saffron and go around. Now we used to have Mango Melody Stampin' Blends and I thought that the Mango Melody Stampin' Blends made a really good taco shell, but we don't have that anymore. So you can try it if you have it. Take your light and just kind of do like a, you know, kind of like a smiley face up to the top. Um, but So Saffron works well too. Have any of you used this stamp set yet? I hope some of you have. You like the crunchy too, Kathy. Yep. You're the, you know, what's what's wrong with people? Why why don't why are we the only ones in our families that like the crunchy taco? I don't know. All right. Now, ooh, big airplane going over. Can you guys hear it? Dang, that's loud. All right, so I feel like the mustache always has to go on the taco. Of course, it can go on the other things, but for whatever reason, I always put it on the taco. And then I'm just gonna put a face on my pepper. And I have found that the, the face images are so small, the photopolymer is so small, that you really wanna just kind of practice with it. Um, if you push too hard, it kind of spreads out. So because it's very small and delicate, just push very softly. And this guy has a winking eye. And when I am looking, and I have two Taco Fiesta stamp sets, and I actually can't, you know, when I'm looking at them like this, I can't tell which is which. So I get them mixed up. And uh, I just find the best way to figure out what it is is to stamp it because it's just very small. All right. All right. Now, the last thing I'm going to do is take my Wink of Stella, and we're going to make that lime sparkly and then we're gonna make that pepper oh googly eyes kimberly would be a great idea too yes you oh ashley the dorito tacos i have had those they are very good do they sell those at the store or just taco bell i can't remember where i've had that all right so the bad news is is there are no dyes believe me i wanted dyes but we don't always get what we want do we <laughs> no. Um, so, but the good news is that we all have scissors, right? Hopefully you have paper snips. So just take your paper snips, cut off all that extra cardstock, and go around the outside. Leave like a white border around your, your images. Um, I have probably colored and cut out over 100 tacos at this point. I've made tags, I've made swaps, I've done all kinds of things. So probably well over 100. And believe me, they're easy, they're fast, they're quick. It's no problem, okay? So cut all of these out. And I think I've cut all of them out ahead of time. I have a little bowl here of my cute little character people. Um, let me make sure I have them all. We have the taco. We have the pepper, 
we have the lime and the sombrero. Now the sombrero, I mean, come on, you have to use it. It's just the cutest. Um, we're gonna put it on the taco this time. Okay. Uh oh, oh no, I dropped the sombrero. All right, I don't know where it went. It's down in the deep, dark recesses of under the table. So I guess I will have to cut this one out. I am gonna find it though afterwards. I'm gonna get down on my hands and knees and find that thing. I'm not letting it go to waste. All right, you can also use these faces and even the sombrero on other things in the catalog. So, you know, if you need to add a face to whatever, okay, that's not high enough, then uh, you've got five faces here in this stamp set. Okay, don't drop it. There we go. Okay, so we've got our four, our four things. I have cut out a label. Um, this is the new Something Fancy label dies, and I have been using them nonstop. They're really great. Um, this is the second largest ticket. There's a, a bunch of dies in that set. We're gonna stamp spectacular, spectacular, I can't say it, spectacular. And we're going to get our dimensionals and we're gonna layer these guys up. Taco can go first. We'll put our pepper kind of right here like that. We'll put our cactus. I didn't add a face to the cactus. I didn't feel like they all needed a face. Like that. And then we'll put the little lime. I hate that I can't zoom in for you guys. I'm sorry. I really, I don't know why I'm the last one. I just can't get on board with that software. All right, there we go. Now let's put our calendar together. It's very easy from here. You know, if you've got several of these to make, stamp out your characters, go put on a movie, and you'll be done in no time, I promise. Basic white card base. These calendars will fold flat in, uh, go in an envelope, just like a card does. I don't know what, oh yes, I know what that is. Okay, <laughs> I was like, I don't know why I have this paper. Now I remember. I hope I used the right paper to stamp. I bet I didn't. I may have to cut that again. All right, here is my new favorite designer series paper, Country Gingham. We had to say goodbye to our cottage gingham with the fall catalog, but quickly replaced by a cute little six by six stack of gingham. And that is the sweet sorbet pattern. This is a piece of So Saffron. These are scissors we used to have a long time ago. We don't have them anymore, but you can just use your regular scissors to make fringe. Okay, so So Saffron. Let's see if I can get this straight. Straight-ish. Straight-ish. Um, okay, now we're gonna take, I have cut a little zigzag or rickrack or whatever you wanna call it with our basic border dies. We're gonna put that right there. Trim that off. Use the face on a carrot, Fiona. Excellent, good. The little avocados are fun. They're not, yeah, they're really not difficult to fussy cut, I promise. All right, now, I'm glad I left my tape out. I decided to cheat with this because I wanted the bow to be exactly in the right place where I wanted it. So I'm just gonna take this sweet sorbet twine and I'm gonna tape it down and then I'm gonna tape it to the other side. Like that. Okay, and then we'll take I'm gonna make a double bow with this. Just fold it in half, tie your bow, straighten it up, little snip, snip, glue dot. I don't know why my piece is all the way at the back. I always have to reach. You guys have to see my arm. Did you guys watch anything good over the holidays? 
We used to go to the movies like four times over the holidays, but there was nothing at the movie theater. My daughter went and saw Avatar. I really have zero interest in Avatar. And then there was nothing else, which is so disappointing. So no movies. Um, the reason I like these calendars, you guys, is because they're all white. You can find other calendars, but a lot of times they have red ink on them, which I think takes away from the design of whatever it is you're designing. Um, because, you know, it's not going to match. It's not going to be the right red. So I that's why I really like Tailored Expressions calendars the best. We did do some binge watching um, here. We watched The White Lotus, and I don't even, I feel kind of gross admitting that we watched it because if you have not watched it, I don't recommend watching it because it is, ugh, it's just a bunch of bad people doing bad things. And it just, I, it was one of those that, you know, like we started it and we were like, ugh, but we, you know, felt like we needed to finish it. It's like getting all this attention and I don't really understand why because it's just kind of gross. Jennifer Coolidge, you guys know who Jennifer Coolidge is. She's hilarious, but I, it's just really sad to see, you know, like people, hopefully these are very fictitious people and people aren't really like that. Um, these are the adhesive back sequins. I think that's all that they're called, adhesive back sequins. All right, so there, we've got that done. Now we need to make this little, um, what do you call this? Easel part on the inside. And I think this is the right one. So you're gonna get a piece of basic white that is four by five and a half. And you're gonna score it at half, two and three fourths, and then five. Next week, or maybe the week after, I have made about six or seven, maybe not that many, maybe five, five or six calendars with other stamp sets that I'll be showing you during the week so you can get some more ideas. Um, I did, Patricia, I watched the second season of White Lotus and I will say, <laughs> I said it was horrible, but yeah, I watched the second season. Um, I will say that the people in the second season weren't quite as horrible as the people in the first season. They were still horrible, but I didn't hate them quite as much as all the people in the first season. I don't know. I just, I had to see what everybody was talking about and it really is quite a show about nothing. I mean... I kept thinking there was going to be some huge mystery bombshell. I don't know. It just was very strange. Very, very strange. But I'm talking about it, so it must have been something. 18, um, what's it called? 18, I can never remember the numbers. 1823, 1824, the new Yellowstone. Very good with Harrison Ford. And I um, can't remember her name very good um and yellowstone we love yellowstone talk about bad people <laughs> i don't know they're not all bad on yellowstone okay there's your calendar now if you leave off this part your card will stand but it'll also like slide out so i recommend you putting that on there and if you're going to mail this to somebody happy new year love erica put an envelope and you can mail it and it fits in a regular envelope okay so there you go first project is a calendar. I always have to do calendars in January with you guys. I love making calendars. Okay, let me clean up a bit and we'll do the next project. Um, the next project is a treat box. I have really been on the hunt for months and months and months and months trying to find things that we could use um, with a stamp set. And there are some things, there's not a lot of like taco candy i will show you hold on let me show you this do i have it yes i found this little pez dispenser a long long time ago isn't he cute and i didn't end up doing anything with him because i mean what can you do with the pez dispenser he's already cute and i did at easter last easter um there were some taco truck jelly beans and, but they're not available now, so I was like, well, that's not helpful. Maybe if they come back out in the spring, we'll pull it back out and make something. But at on stage, I showed this project. I found this giant gummy taco, um, 
at Five Below, and it's disgusting, I think, a gummy taco. But the kids, you, you guys should see what my daughter's best friend gave her for Christmas. It is a gummy worm that is about as thick as this cup and like like two feet long and she's like taking a bite every day it's disgusting but she loves it so i guess the kids love all the gummy things but anyway funny gummy taco five below so then i was perusing um and this will be on my blog next week all the details on this one but then i was perusing amazon and i found a mini one which is much more i think reasonable and you know, inexpensive than the big ones. So we're gonna make a little box for this, the little gummy taco. This is coming off, I need to put some more adhesive on it. Um, I linked them today also on Amazon. I haven't seen the little ones in store. I've only seen the big ones in store. So if you're looking for them and you find them in store, um, that'll be good, but I just don't think that, I just haven't seen them anywhere. All right, you're gonna need, now I made two versions because I couldn't decide which one I liked the best, Granny Apple Green or Mango Melody. And this paper is a Celebration Level 2 paper and it is fabulous. It's called Dandy Designs. So we're gonna make the Granny Apple one. Um, yeah, Kimberly, the language in Yellowstone is awful. You know, my kids are teenagers, but I still have to pause shows when they come in white lotus for sure and yellowstone too i know i ugh. i know it's bad it's bad i know that probably means we shouldn't watch it but it's just yellowstone so good all right <laughs> nine by six and a fourth the long side you're going to score it. one four five and eight turn it score the short side at one and let me look at my notes, five and a fourth. These measurements are right here on that PDF that you can download. All right, now this is a clamshell box. We've made these kind of boxes many times. I just made it to fit our taco. Is this the kind of box? Yeah, this is the kind of box I showed you guys how to make during 12 days of Christmas, a clamshell box. So if you wanna know how to make a custom size box, go back a few weeks and find that on YouTube or on my blog. All right, so we're gonna snip the score lines on the long side and then cut the corners off of the tabs, the six tabs. So this weekend, you guys, my husband and I are gonna start working on the house, cleaning. We're gonna start with the garage tomorrow and I am dreading it. We will be selling the house in the summer after our house is done, but you know, we gotta start now. We, we, we're not hoarders, but we have a lot of stuff. <laughs> a lot of stuff we don't need and I'm dreading it. But you guys know when you sell a house, this is what you have to do. We've ordered this thing called um, the Bagster. It's a dumpster bag that you can fill with up to 3,000 pounds of stuff, and then you call a company and they will come and remove it. And it's not the size of a dumpster, but it's really big. So our goal this weekend <laughs> is to fill it. I don't know. Uh, my daughter has, my youngest daughter, has all her Nerf guns and her like toys that she hasn't given up still in the garage. And she did say yesterday that we could get rid of them. So, but then she wanted to sell them. I'm like, that's up to you. I'm not gonna, I'm not doing that. Um, I'm using Tombow, putting on the outside of the tabs. The reason I say that is because that is a lot of work and I just don't have the time for it. However, if you live in our neighborhood, watch the neighborhood page for a lot of things I'm gonna be giving away for free. <laughs> garage things you guys not anything exciting but things that may, maybe a neighbor might need I don't know can of paint um some tool I don't know some skateboard that's been ridden for several years nothing terribly exciting don't worry stamps not happening I'm not giving away or throwing away any of that stuff all right so I'm adhering these to the inside of the box and I've got my clothes pins here to hold them closed. Yeah, I know, Elaine, you moved recently, didn't you, a few years ago? It really is 
it almost, the thought of having to do pack this house and clean out this house almost kept me from deciding to, to build. I was just like, I don't know if I can do it. I don't know if I have it in me. <sighs> but if we start now, <laughs> I don't know. There's no easy way to do it. There really isn't. All right. So leave your box laying like that. Let it dry. Um, all right, let's stamp. I'm not going to color all the images because we've already done that, but I will show you one thing. Let's see. We need, I can't remember. Where's my box? Okay, so we, you need the taco again. You need the pepper. You need the avocado. That's what I'm going to show you. And you need the sombrero. Okay. Now, the avocado... I, I went back and forth with this. I was coloring it with two greens, but then I started thinking, you know, the outside of an avocado is black or gray. So this guy, he's got light or maybe mm, dark smoky slate. This guy has dark um, granny apple green. I think I like the granny apple green better. So that's what we're gonna do. And if you go back and look at yesterday's post, you'll see my card that has the two avocados sitting in the crate and I added hearts to the pits. That was the first thing I thought of um, when I was thinking about the stamp set with the avocados. I wanted to turn the pit into a heart and the little heart die from the Give It A Whirl dies is a perfect fit. All right, so here's a place where it's very narrow. So just take, and I think your brush tip, I mean your bullet tip is best on this part. Take your, your marker and just tap the color in. Don't like hold it down like that. I feel like the ink spreads out or maybe my hand just isn't steady enough. So if you just kind of tap that color into that line, I think you'll do better. Now, color that pit with soft suede. All right, let's see. I colored and cut these out ahead of time. I put a little, uh, little face on the avocado. I did not put a face on the pepper. Then we've got the taco and the sombrero. Now, am I gonna have to dig out that sombrero <laughs> from under the table? Do I have another one in here? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, well, I think I'm gonna have to. You know what we'll do? Okay, I'm just gonna steal this sombrero over off of one of these. There was one that I thought that the avocado needed to be redone. Let's just take it off this. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I totally cheated. There's your, um, your characters. And this is a stitched rectangle. Let's see what size is it. It is three and an eighth by one and seven eighths. Our rectangles are really hard to tell apart. I never can even, by looking at my projects, I can't ever tell which rectangle I use. So that's why I always tell you the measurements. Okay, so we're gonna start with our taco, right? We're gonna put him there. And then we're gonna put the pepper. Oh, the pepper doesn't have a face. Let's put a little face on him. Her, him, I don't know. Patricia says, I moved 18 months ago, worst move ever because the movers never, sh oh. It was a nightmare trying to find another. That does sound like a nightmare. Yes, it does. Well, we're going to try to move all the small things ourselves because our house is only about, our new house is only about three or four miles away. But then all the big things we're going to hire movers for. The last time we moved, which was 12 years ago, we were younger. <laughs> My husband was younger. And I don't think we can do all that heavy lifting this time. I just don't think... We have it in us. Um, I hate to spend money on that, but I just think it'll be better if we hire somebody to do it. All right, I'm going to take use your take your pick tool to pick that up. I don't know why I didn't do that earlier. All right, now we've got those guys. I have cut two pieces of our glimmer paper. Um, sweet sorbet. And parakeet party and I'm just going to kind of put them on there willy-nilly and I think these are a little bit fatter than I wanted them to be I think they just need to be about three-eighths of an inch wide or a quarter inch but you just kind of want to put them in a I mean a little overlapping kind of 
off. And then I stamp the sentiment, this You Spice Up My Life, in craft ink, craft white, and emboss it with white embossing powder. And we're gonna stick that right under those guys, like that. Okay. Now, let's come back to our box and see how we did. Put our little gummy taco in there. Um, one thing to note about the gummy taco is that the shell is just paper and the inside parts are the gummies. I kind of feel like opening it to look to see what it looks like. All right, let's open it and see. I'll have to give this one to my daughter. It looks like, like little squiggles. Let's see. Ooh. <laughs> oh, look, two gummy bears. Two gummy raspberries. What is this? It looks like a slug. What is that, you guys? <laughs> I don't know. A green banana or something. Anyway, that's your gummy taco. Okay, that's not quite as gross as I was thinking it would be. I don't know what those are, but there's your gummy taco. <laughs> We're just gonna put it in there for now. I have more. I'll get a new one out and put it in here. But I had to see what was in there. Okay, now let's put a little piece of our designer series paper. Dandy design, celebration, matted on basic white. Is it lettuce? I don't know. It looks like a slug. Ugh. Gummy bears aren't normally in tacos. I don't know. That's kind of weird. Very weird. But my daughter would love it. All right, another strip of designer series paper. Um, Mango Melody this time with a sweet sorbet scallop border. We'll put that. Avocado slices. Mary, maybe that's what they're supposed to be. Avocado slices. But what about the gummy bears and the little, like, what were they, like raspberries? Okay, let's look again. Let's look again. I mean, I think they were at the gummy factory and they were like, what can we put in this taco? Okay, let me get another one. Hold on. <laughs> I have another one. That one, I just don't even know. Pickles, I don't know. What is this? Oh gosh, gross. I'm not a fan of gummy candy, but it does make for a funny gift. Very funny. Flat pickles, Mary, they do. I have never put pickles on my taco, so I'm not so sure about that. Okay, there we go. We got that. Now, last but not least, we don't have any granny apple green um, ribbon. And our sweet sorbet ribbon, I just, it doesn't look very sweet sorbet-ish to me. It feels like it's a different color. So we're going to use parakeet party because I like parakeet party. All right. Tomatoes, green to oh oh you think maybe maybe the little raspberry thing is supposed to be tomatoes. I, I honestly think that the workers at the gummy factory were like, what gummies do we have left over that we can put in this taco shell? Because they the people who are buying it can't see it, they'll never know. All right. <laughs> there you go, you guys. I don't know about that one. I don't know. Pretty funny. I um have found some other things that Maybe we'll make in the future. Oh man, I just realized that this has leaked out. Hold on, I have something leaking over here that's not supposed to be leaking out. Some adhesive, okay, I'm gonna put that aside because I gotta clean that later. Okay, so there we go, project number two. <laughs> a little bit of a stretch, but I don't know, it's super cute. You gotta have fun when you have a taco stand, you just gotta have fun. All right, one more project, and this is the easy project of the day. Um, for on stage, I was so busy getting ready for on stage that I realized kind of last minute that I hadn't made anything for my team. So I was like, okay, what can I make? Well, I had ordered these adorable gummies. I'm not more gummies. I don't know. These are really cute though. These gummies are, where, let me get my box. They're from Amazon, and Amazon actually shipped them from Oriental Trading. So there you have a cactus, a taco, a pinata, and a sombrero. And they are very cute. Um, 
I linked those today. Really reasonable. And I think that these would make a great party favor um, for any kind of little party that you're having. Um, I used a different sentiment. None of the sentiments in here quite go with the pinata. I mean, you could, you could definitely use you spice up my life, holy guacamole. But I, I was like, you know what? Let's use something different. So we're using let's celebrate. Doesn't that go good with the pinata? I thought it did. Okay, so basically it's a little matchstick um, package, okay? Very easy to make, really fast. You can whip these out in no time. And we're gonna use a little bit different colors. And I keep seeing people referring to this guy as a llama. Now, maybe as a llama, but he was designed to be a pinata, all right? You can call him whatever you want, but I just, just wanted to verify that he was designed to be a pinata. We use pinatas around here in San Antonio a lot. And I'm sure pinatas are used all over the country, right? I mean, everybody has had fun with a pinata, surely. All right, his nose and his ears are gonna be um, pumpkin pie. I'm looking at my sample. Pumpkin pie light. All right, and then I'm gonna take polished pink, dark. And here's another time when you just wanna tap that color because it's very small. So just kind of tap your color in. Don't leave your marker sitting there for very long. Just a little tap, tap. And if you wear glasses, you are definitely gonna need your glasses for this one. All right, and I'm just kind of tapping the color. Another thing you might want to do if you're having trouble staying in the lines here because our marker's a little bit fatter, um, get out your stamp and write markers for this because now they're a different marker, but we're not doing any blending here. We're just kind of filling in some of the, the little sections. So stamp and write markers could fill in some of the smaller areas too. All right, sweet sorbet. A little bit of that tail like that. Um, and then I used dark pumpkin pie. Like that. And we'll do the tail right there. And then last but not least, parakeet party. Now our pinata is wearing a necklace. <laughs> I guess that's what it is. And so I'm just gonna go back with polished pink and just dot, 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 okay? Don't forget to do your um, Wink of Stella. Now, let me show you this guy. See how he has a red face? That's because yesterday when I was making the video, I had used my Wink of Stella over on my pepper before I use it on here. So it will transfer your ink. So make sure you like, you know, run it off before you move it to the next image, especially if the next image is white. Okay. All right. Do I have one of these cut out? I feel like I do. I, man, I thought I was prepared, but I guess not. Wait, what's that? No, nope, that's not it either. All right. Well, we'll just cut him out. He's not that difficult. Now, Monday, I will have another video for you with a card a wobble card. Remember years ago when we had the donkey? I guess it wasn't that long ago, maybe two years, we had the donkey celebration stamp and I made a wobble card um, with a donkey. I'm going to make one with a pinata on Monday with you on a video and you don't have to buy anything special to make your wobble. Just a little bit of thin wire that you probably have around your house somewhere. They do make things that you can buy for wobbles, but they're big and they're too big for this image. So I'm gonna show you how to make a little one. It's very easy. All right, around and around we go. Our little pinata. And around the tail. Now I'm not gonna try to get up in between each of those little strands. I'm just gonna do like a little bubble around his tail, okay? Then let's stamp our sentiment. Stamp, which is hiding. Pale papaya. Let's celebrate. I hope I stamped that high enough. Where's our punch? You know, I used this punch just a little while ago. Is it here? No. Mm -hmm. Where did I put it? Mm -hmm. Hold please, here it is. 
I put it away. This punch, did I put this on the supply list? You know, Patricia says the set needs a margarita glass. I agree 100%, but unfortunately we're limited, very limited to just one stamp set. <laughs> and only so much can fit. Um, this is called, did I not put it on here? All right, I didn't put it on the list. Somebody tell me, what is this punch called? Somebody will look it up for us. It's a great punch. And that's, let's celebrate fits perfectly right there. All right. Now get your dimensional and put that right there for your pinata. All right. Now for the little holder, gosh, this place is a mess. Hold on. I got to clean all this up. I can't stand it. It's too messy. I've worked myself into a tiny little spot. All right. For your holder, you need a piece of sweet sorbet that is two by seven and a half. And you're just going to score it at half an inch, three and three fourths, and four and a fourth. Okay. And I think, if I remember correctly, that my DSP is going to be too big. Let's see. Did I trim it? I realized yesterday it was too big. Oh, no. It's perfect. All right. So on this long section, we're going to put this DSP. This paper, designer series paper, is our delicate desert paper which lends itself nicely to the stamp set. All right, so now you're gonna need a little stapler. And one little trick that I have for you here is for the plastic, make sure the plastic goes all the way down to that score line and you're gonna staple low. And the reason why you're gonna do that, you're gonna make sure it catches, is because this has to fold in. And if your staple is too high, then this won't go in, okay? So make sure that your candy is down far enough, your staple is down low enough for that to tuck in. All right, and then last, we're just gonna put this on here. Oh wait, nope, we've got a scalloped circle. And then we've got another dimensional right here. And then last but not least, we've got new twine, hallelujah, I love twine. Three colors in this pack. If you're buying the Taco Fiesta class from me, you will get a pack of this twine in your kit because it is fabulous. And then a glue dot, which when I cleaned up, I lose things. See what happens? Here we go. All right. Glue dot. And this and that. And done. Easy, right? Super easy. Easy, not a lot of coloring on this one either, so it won't take you too long. Okay, so there you have it. Now, hold on, don't leave, because I'm gonna show you a couple of other things that I have. Um, on, let's see, this week I have showed you, I've showed you this project, this one had a video. Um, I showed you the spinner card, there's a video for that too. Okay, peppers can come in different colors. Every time I say pepper, I think of my dog. Um, then this is the card for Monday. It's a little wobble card. This was yesterday's card, and this one will come next week. This is my this was my swap card at on stage, and then I got some swaps. This is from Linda Cullen this week, and she used my stamp set, and I loved it. Look at the colors she used, and her coloring is perfect. Very good, very good coloring. That's that same Dan, nope. Um, uh, I can't remember the name. Forever Flowers, the host paper in the spring catalog. All right, well, there you have it, you guys. Um, lots of inspiration. I can't wait to see what you guys do with your Taco Fiesta stamp sets. Um, tag me if you ever post on Instagram so I can see them. Um, if you want these make and takes for free, let's see, these, that one, that one, and where's the other one that we made? This one. Then just make sure you put in an online order by Monday at midnight. Um, make sure you use the host code for this week. Um, it's on the PDF, it's on my blog post, and I will update this video with the host code at the top as well. All right, you guys have a wonderful weekend. Think of me as I'm cleaning out my garage, <laughs> especially if you're doing something fun. And next week I will be back with 
the adorable owl, which is super, super adorable. All right, you guys, thanks for joining me. I'll see you next week. Bye.